uh, in today's video we will be discussing the concept of uh, llk grammar and uh, lrk grammar uh, so if you are watching this video for the very first time i would advise all of you to watch my previous video because both are interlinked with one another so uh, the first point that i will be discussing is uh, llk grammar so in various internet resources and uh, uh, various books uh, there are various things which are written for llk grammar but let's just discuss about uh, the abbreviation so the first part of l l actually is that uh, the first part it's it means you have to read from left to right now over here uh, your the reading from left to right means that uh, whenever i am processing any string i have to see from left side and then i have to move to right side to check what kind of input string my rules are generating and uh, the second part uh, is your this l this actually refers as uh, leftmost derivation guys uh, leftmost derivation video as well as uh, top down parsing which uh, is top down parsing as well uh, i have discussed in my previous videos i have already given the link uh, in my description box kindly see that so uh, you are uh, reading from left to right means you are processing your strings from left side and then you move to right side and uh, your leftmost derivation says that uh, your tree will start from top uh, which is start symbol to you will go with input symbol this i have already discussed in my previous video now this k what do you mean by this particular k means it how many how many rules are required to generate from a particular rule means uh, it is a look ahead symbol if you are finding a string like i, I give you a very simple example If I'm finding a string, like for an example, I have S is generating A capital A capital a uh, small b. Now, uh, what does K mean? L L K, and what is K uh, meaning of this K? if the string that is desired to me is b from these rules if i want to find a string which is b so you can clearly see that your s is also generating s is generating two answers it is generating s is generating small a capital a s is also generating b so in this scenario if the string which is desired is b which is from the very first step we found a string which is desired it means your k value becomes equal to 1 so this becomes ll1 gram means it reads k characters at a time that means if you are finding your rule from the very first iteration it means s is generating b without involving other rules clearly that means it is an example of ll1 grammar i'll just quote the example of uh, ll2 ll2 means that you will find the string but from two iterations like for an example, uh, if I am having a string, S is generating A, A slash B slash A. And I want to find a string which is double A. I can get the string double A 
But for that, I will have S is generating A capital A. Then this A is also generating A. So the string that we got is double A, double A. But this string is not uh, taken from the very first step. From the very first step, it was S is generating A, A. And the second step, second iteration, we got double A. It means this is a concept of LL2 grammar. Hopefully, uh, this concept is clear. So, we are quickly switching to the concept of LRK grammar. Guys, K concept is same that how many iteration it is taking to basically get hold of the string. So, that is your K, which is look ahead symbol. So, over here, left L means again, we are processing from left to right. So if, if I'm deriving any string, we are moving from left to right direction. Now, what kind of symbol we are going to choose? Let's say if I'm writing S is generating A, A, B, capital B and small e. Now, there are two non-terminals which are written over here. We have to pick one of them. If I'm picking this, this becomes your LMD. And if I'm picking this, this becomes the rightmost terminal. It means a rightmost derivation. In your LRK, your R means your rightmost derivation. Rightmost derivation means your uh, bottom up uh, parsing. But uh, I would not use that term because it is reverse. Uh, it is the reverse rightmost derivation. But yes, the concept remains same. The concept is we are using rightmost derivation. And the rightmost derivation is uh, we have already discussed. So if I pick the uh, uh, non-terminal on the right-hand side non-terminal, it means it is rightmost derivation, right? So how many number of steps I'm basically choosing to solve it? It is all your K. K means your look ahead symbol. It means it will read K characters at a time same applies so this is how your working actually works i'll take a very simple example s is generating double a and a is generating small a slash b now i want to generate a string which is b a b so how will i generate again this is bottom up parsing that makes sense from this b uh, I this is your, I want to generate B, A, B. So if I'm taking B, A, B, B, I'm taking from this A. This small A and this uh, capital A is uh, generated from capital A, right? Uh, this uh, B can also be generated by capital A. If I combine both of them, that becomes S. So from the string, I am going to the top, which is your start symbol. So again, uh, these all are rules and we are deriving B, A, B and we are generating from bottom to top. So again, this is the concept of rightmost derivation. That is your LRK grammar. So quickly switching to the properties of LRK grammar. Firstly, they belong to context-free grammar only. So uh, there are uh, important points that we need to remember. Uh, first property is if grammar is LRK grammar, it means it is taking K iteration, right? Then, it, then that means it is K dash. If grammar is LRK grammar, then it is LRK dash also, where your K dash is greater than K. See, the more number of iterations you use, K value will increase. And if k, uh, k dash is greater than k, if, uh, if grammar is LRK, it is uh, the grammar is also LRK dash also, where k value is k dash is greater than k. 
second point that every LRK grammar is unambiguous. Unambiguous means that there will not be generating any two strings. Uh, it means uh, unambiguous means we have already discussed ambiguity, but unambiguous in this scenario means that two trees can't be generated for same string two different trees derivation trees cannot be generated for same string this is another important property of lrk grammar uh, we say if uh, your grammar is LRK. So see, this is a context-free grammar. So it is accepted by PDA only. So there is PDA that accepts LRK. So again, if there is deterministic PDA, There is LRK grammar such that LRK grammar belongs to that deterministic push down automata. So these are properties of LRK grammar clearly. Well, first property is that if k dash is greater than k, it means if uh, there is LRK, there will be LRK dash. LRK is unambiguous. It cannot be two different trees that generate same string. Third is there is always a PDA that accepts it. And if a deterministic push down automata is accepting that particular grammar, so it means it belongs to deterministic push down automata. And we can, uh, we can create uh, various PDAs regarding the same thing, deterministic PDAs. So if you have any doubts, kindly post the doubts in comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very, very much.